Welcome to another tutorial video. So in today's video, we're going to be doing another feather flower. Um, as promised in previous video, today's on, I'm going to be cutting and shaping my feathers and arranging them into a beautiful flower um, as another request from one of our subscribers. So let's go right into um, the materials needed for today. Before we do that, I would like to say a massive thank you to all our subscribers. If you're watching me for the first time, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching and if you've not yet subscribed that you hit on the subscription button and the notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime a new video is uploaded okay so you're going to need for starters you're going to need your um, your feathers and I have mine here that had come in different packages and sizes you need your cutting tools so you need a rotary cutter you just need a blade you also need the scissors if you don't have any of this i guess you can improvise but i'm going to put you through how the cutting was done so you'll be able to think of other cutting tools at your disposal you can use but for me these were the three cutting tools i used okay you would also need your glue gun which I have my plugged in or not switched on and you would also need a gem or something for your centerpiece and this is what I'm going to be using hopefully it is going to come out all right if it doesn't I'll switch it for something else okay and then you would also need a base for your arrangement ideally um, use felt if you've got it just a round base to do your um, feather arrangements on them okay just before we get right into the process as usual i'd like to talk to you about my other channel which is podcast with sheila on this channel we share inspiring life experiences this week we are advocating for the awareness of sepsis and i've done a previous interview with a lady about sepsis who had lost her husband um, to sepsis and as a sepsis survivor i have also put in my word concerning um the awareness of sepsis um, why not watch this video and then we come back to the tutorial when video I start to talk about God you will need to know the man I speak so highly of. that man can change your life from zero to hero in no time he can take you from the grass to your grace in no time he's a man of his word so what is sepsis? Do you even know? Have you ever heard about sepsis? Do you know that sepsis is one deadly disease that can take your life at the snap of a finger? I bet you don't, just as I didn't know about it in 2019 when sepsis nearly claimed my life from a miscarriage that was not treated properly. Join myself and Christina Flack, a celebrity makeup artist, and the owner of Pretty Girl Makeup as we talk about sepsis and how sepsis took away the life of her husband in 2018. This is one informative and inspiring podcast episode you'll be hearing in your lifetime. Don't miss out. Make some time with us today on Podcast with Sheila on YouTube or via our audio channel on Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, Spotify or any other podcast landing site. And listen to Christina Flack and myself share deep insight about sepsis and how sepsis can be prevented so quickly. Don't miss out on this episode. And please, if you happen to chance on it, don't be selfish. Don't keep all the information and the good news to yourself. Make sure you spread, help us spread this word across as well. We, we are hoping to create awareness about sepsis. And this, we believe, will help save a lot of lives. Have a brilliant day. Stay safe. And always know that the sky is not the limit. When I walked in the club, everything changed. When I walked in the club, he was looking at me like, wow, the aura on my body, I drip and I drown. So he says, I heard you're a singer. I live in 
Thank you very much. I hope you took a, a thing or two away from that video. Now let's get right on with the process for this flower. So I'm going to take you through how I did my shaping. You can see in front of me here, I have three different um, feathers I have shaped. So this is at a different length of feather. This is also at a different length and that's the smallest. So I'd gone from the longest to medium size and then to the smallest. Okay, and I'm thinking of going for a fourth size, but I want to do these arrangements and see how big and how full my flower comes out and then decide if I should go for a fourth layer or not. Okay, now let's get on with the cutting of um, the feather. Now this was what I did with my first cut and this is what I have for the second one. And then the third one is about the same design. So you can see that the second and the third have about the same design, but the first one has about three of the steps to it. So I'm going to take you through these steps and then I believe from there on you can cut the other ones on your own. Okay, so what you do is to get your blade and I'm going to, from here to here, just eyeball it about half an inch. Use your blade to do a notch in here. Okay, just a notch, make a notch, you press it down, kind of cutting on the spine at the tip here. Okay, so that's it, what I have done. Okay, so that gives us this shape up here. Now I'm going to flip it over because um, cutting from the inside of the feather seems to be easier than um, on the right side. Okay, so I'm going to be cutting from the inside. And then I'm going to press, use my fingers to press the feathers down on this end and then i'm going to trim off a bit of length from the spine okay now you decide how much length you want to trim and then i'll do the same on the opposite side as well okay and then you pull it out so then you have this shape now i'm going to leave a bit of space and then come down and repeat the same step over here so i'm going to trim off a few of the feather bits of the spine okay so then we have these two shapes looking like that we can go further down because you can see that the space from here to here is much longer so i'm going to go further down a little bit all right and i assume this will be enough for me now if you want to give a clean finish to the spine you can use your scissors to finish it off beautifully and then trim away the excesses okay now this is where the rotary cutter comes in you can use your blade to do this but i've found the rotary cutter to be much easier to use in shaping this bit so with my rotary cutter i'm just going to go in with one quick you know it's just a matter of moving your hand across to get the cutting done and then repeat the same thing over here so it's exactly what it is entirely up to you um what shape you want to give it okay but then the rotary cutter goes in to finish it off beautifully like that you make sure that they are all of the same length now we go on to forming our flower at this minute i'm going to turn on my um hot glue gun and then we wait for it to get ready and we carry on with it all right so i've gotten my glue onto it i guess this is more than i needed but it doesn't matter so i'm going to start sticking my feather onto it i would first to pause my north south east position as usual that makes it easier to place the other feathers in the right place okay so north, south, east, and west positions go first. And then after that, we start placing the rest. Okay, so I should have told you that you have to cut for each length 12 leather shapes. Okay, so for this longest length, I have cut 12 of my 
for this. Okay. So I have decided to make my long, but you can obviously make your feathers shorter. My first length is quite long, so that look, looks like you're going to get a much bigger flower. And that is exactly what I'm aiming at because I want to use my flower in the end for a fascinator. So that's exactly what I wanted. So like I said, for me, the size of my flower is exactly what I wanted. It's much bigger. And that's exactly what I wanted. But you can obviously go for a smaller one if that is what you want. But I'd in the end want to use mine for a fascinator. So the bigger, the better for me. Okay, so I'm going to get some more glue and then we stick a second layer of feathers so the next one will be the next length from that and i'm going to go in between the places i had not done initially and then carry on sticking all right so this is what we have and i think i'm liking everything i'm seeing so i'm going to add some glue here in the center and then drop my gem onto it hopefully i'll just have to do one gem and not do too many so i think i like what i'm seeing so this is what we have for another feather flower you can cut off these bits and then just have them looking like this this also looks nice but i think i like these extensions because of what i want to use them for in the end we've come to the end of another um tutorial video for feather flower hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to give our video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you've not done that already and don't forget to check out podcast with sheila as well if you've not done that already until we meet again have a brilliant day